This is not gonna happen, but if this video gets like 500 likes, I'll reset my stats and do like a road to prestige master or something. Also, I finally fucking figured it out. The last BO2 video I made, I could not hit a shot to save my life. I was struggling so hard and I went through my options and I don't know why, but they keep getting switched up. Every time I like, not every time, but every so often random settings will change. For whatever reason, sync every frame was turned on on this and I don't know why it just gave, it gives the game like a weird lag. So so I shut that off and set max frames unlimited and my shot feels incredible. I made a video on the second channel and I've just been going off. I've almost hit so many ridiculous clips. <gasps> Dude, grind? D don't mind if I do? As fun as Plutonium is, it is missing the core elements of what made Call of Duty super fun. Uh, one, game chat, and two, searching for lobbies. Pre-game lobbies, they were just unmatched. Hello. Just thinking to myself, like, how many players has Call of Duty had over the last couple years? Like, I know, what is it, the most players that, uh... <laughs> Purge, no! Modern Warfare 2 this year has maxed out at like half a million players at one time, and I was thinking, uh, Call of Duty used to actually have statistics. It would show you how many people were on at any given time. Wait, uh, dude, I'm gonna hit an executioner clip on these guys, hang on, I can feel it. I just need to like zigzag. <laughs> but they would show you how many people were playing at any given time. Even down to, they had like a globe that lit up the places that people were playing from. Sir. Like to me, 12 year old me, shit, even 25 year old me, thinks that is the coolest shit ever. And no games do it anymore. People don't want you to know how many people are on at any given time. But it got me thinking, like how many pillar? But it got me thinking, it feels like Call of Duty used to be the biggest thing in the world. Like Modern Warfare 2, OG, like Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Like that shit was huge. Um, so I looked up some screenshots. I found a screenshot and I tweeted it out. Black Ops 1, the uh, biggest screenshot I could find, Black Ops 1 had 3 million players online at one time. And like, dude, that is just Xbox. That doesn't include PC or PS3. I don't think people really documented it that well, but I gotta know the max number of players that has ever been on at any given time in any Call of Duty. And yeah, like, of course the player base has been split up over the years. Every single year there's a new game to split up the player base. But still, man, it would be tough to make a Call of Duty to match 3 million players. See, dude, my shot just feels so good. I think the Maestas guys left. Yeah, they did. I was shitting on him too bad. Love you, Baggy. <laughs> Where they spawn at? There's one guy right here. Dude. Plutonium's gotta be getting popular because there's getting to be some pretty shitty people on. Unless they're bots and I just don't know. That is pop. This guy is definitely a bot. Bro, there's no way you're a real person. Get him, get him, get him, get him! <laughs> yes! Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> my man. Come on, give me a six on. I deserve it. If I'm gonna hit a six on on this game, this is a spot it's gonna be hit. Come on. Also, I put a poll in the community tab asking what video you guys wanted to see next. Like, it just had some video ideas. Uh, a couple were like CSGO, because I've literally never played CSGO in my entire life. Uh, I asked you guys if you wanted to see Titanfall. Uh, I asked uh, some other Call of Duties, three random games. Like, I found, like, the idea there is finding three random, like, indie games on Steam that are just uh, free to play or whatever, and just play them. I like the idea between Markiplier's three scary games. Dude, holy shit. These guys need every trick in the book to kill me, because I'm just incredible. I'm the best BO2 player. You know, no big deal. There's an IRL video that I was thinking of doing. Not a gym vlog, dude. I've wanted to do a gym vlog for a while, but I'm a pussy. I can't. It, maybe if I'm in there by myself, but uh, I don't know how people have the confidence, the ego to make gym vlogs or just vlog in general. I don't have it. Hey, Baggy. Hey, buddy. And I gotta turn chat on. Do you think he has chat on? <laughs> We're not gonna kill each other. Bro, I love this guy so much. 
Yeah, there's this dude on TikTok that it's, what is it, Sip Soda Bar or something. But you know how there's coffee stands where people put just copious amounts of sugar in it? Like, okay, yeah, cool, caffeine. Black coffee can kind of taste like shit sometimes. Uh, so I, I understand putting creamer and stuff in. But no, it's not that. It's not a coffee bar. It's not a, a coffee place or a Starbucks, nothing like that. The title is Soda Bar. This motherfucker, dude, I shit you, I gotta stop playing to talk about this for one second. I watched this man put coconut syrup, some red syrup, and creamer in Dr. Pepper. I mean, it sounds pretty good, but it's already just sugar. You don't need to add more sugar. I don't know, dude. So the idea behind the video is I would go through his TikTok and just kind of review some of them and then pick a couple that I would try myself, like go to the store and try this shit out. And then uh, at the end of the video, I would probably make some of my own, uh, some of my own concoctions. Sorry, teammate. Dude. Oh, the single collat there. So bad. Also, yo, I don't know if you guys have heard the new Bring Me the Horizon music. Like, Lost grew on me a little bit, but they just dropped a song with a little Uzi fucking vert, man. And that song also has me feeling some type of way. I, I feel pretty good. I feel like I, I have the content brain firing at the moment. So, um, yeah, again, 500 likes. I'll reset my stats and do like a Road to Prestige Master type series. Um, also, if you want to see those other videos that I mentioned earlier, let me know. Uh, it's been worse. I'll see you next time.